big factor with Pinkman Thomas as he has Angelo Dundee back with him. He had no defeats when Angelo Dundee was in his corner. He left Angelo for a short period of time and in that period of time lost his championship. Mike Tyson became the youngest ever to win the World Heavyweight Championship in November 22nd of 86 when he stopped Trevor Burbick in that second round. And that, of course, was for the World Boxing Council title. He was only 20 years old then. Floyd Patterson, who was the youngest prior to that, was almost two years older, and he won the title in 1956. On March 2nd, Mike Tyson fulfilled the second step in this unification process, defeating James Bone Crusher Smith. That added the World Boxing Association crown to his WBC belt. There are really very few in the boxing circles that don't believe that Mike Tyson is the best heavyweight in the world. Mike Tyson believes that Picklin Thomas is the second best heavyweight in the world, and Picklin Thomas wants to disprove that, and to as he possibly can. In the blue corner, fighting out of West Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 217 and three quarter pounds, with a professional record of 29 wins, one defeat, one draw, and 24 KOs. He's rated number one in the world by the WBC, and is a former champion of that organization. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Pinklin, Pinky Thomas. And in the red corner, fighting out of the Catskills in New York, weighing 218 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his professional career with 29 wins, no defeats, 26 KOs. He is the WBC, WBA, Heavyweight Champion of the World, Iron Mike Tyson. Okay, Powell, Powell. You hear Carlos towel. Padilla calling the fighters to the center of the ring, and he's looking for towels from the corner of Mike Tyson. Maybe he wants to get some of the perspiration of grease off the face of Mike Don't Tyson. Don't put too much grease. That's way. Okay. Again, on that uh, tail okay. of the tape, Picklin okay. Thomas is three and a half inches taller. He's okay, a pound Tyson lighter. Thomas, you're going to box for 12 Nine rounds. Years you know, old, the rules of Avoid using any kinds of foul. Don't throw any punches during the break. Is that understood? Seconds come out fighting. All right, we're all set to go. Pick the Thomas coming over a March knockout win over Danny Sutton. And, of course, Tyson on that same card defeating Bone Crusher Smith. Pinklin Thomas is going to try to move side to side, avoid bending forward, using that left jab. Here we go. And immediately Thomas is nailed with the right hand. This is round one. Thomas ties up Mike Tyson. People don't like to see Tyson get tied up. Thomas making a mistake. If he turns his head to the left or to the right and bends forward, Tyson will nail him. Tyson really aggressive after Pinklin Thomas. This is a 
Hickman. Hickman has no power in his left hand to keep it up. Well, leave Hickey, him alone! Hickey, look up at me. Leave him alone! God damn it! Leave this fucking man alone! Jesus Christ! Get away from this man! Look at this. No, you're Lisa nothing! Really caught him with a left hook and then a right hand to back him off. Miglin's cut. You can see the cut there below the left eye. He's got nailed right on the button again with that right hand of Tyson. Tyson is just unbelievably strong. Just really goes after Piglin Thomas. Thomas is pouring with his left hand. Thomas is in more trouble than you can imagine. In the first round. Alright, here we go. Round number two. Thomas is going to get that left hand in the face. Oh, Mike Tyson is going to be some serious problems. Now Padilla warns Tyson about hitting on the clinches and on the brakes. Thomas trying to get up with his toes. Now Tom is starting to hang on a bit. A left jam with the face of Thomas. But Thomas begins to pick it up, trying to pick up the face of Kennedy. Tyson just walks right through that jam. Nice combination of Thomas and Kennedy. I'll tell you one thing. When Mike Tyson walks in the ring, the crowd comes to life. A couple of jabs get in the face of Mike Tyson. It's not backing him off at all, though. You know, Give him movement. Let's go. That's the beginning of the end for this sucker. Let's go. Right, now. Let's go. 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 Let's
Thomas rather came out tentatively, and Mike Tyson did what he's done to so many other players. That's intimidating right from the beginning. He can't move in and he can't move straight back at this guy. He's got to try to go side to side. Tyson's very quick on his feet. Bump's getting desperate. He's trying to butt the heck out of you. You know what I mean? Kind of weird guess, it's all right. I want yeah. you to go first with everything. He comes jumping at you. Go for him. You're here. You're here. You understand? You're here. You got to do it. You understand? All right. Watch this, Jim. Okay. Go! 
She's snappy hard jab. You're not fighting this guy. You're going to fight? You're going to fight him? You're going to bullshit. Let's we'll see some steam out of that shot, okay? You got me? Come on, man. Let's go down. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Left hook. You're hitting the hook off the jab. 
Come here. Come here, Pig. Get up. Get up. Get up. Well, he's trying to get a little. Uh, it's not the first time that a glove of a fighter in the corner of Angelo Dundee has had a split glove. The ruling in the corner is that the right glove of Pickman Thomas has torn and it had to be replaced. Uh, the second is the left one. Okay, check this out, check this out. All right, we're well, coming up to round number six now. The new glove is on the left hand of Pickman Thomas. And here we go with round six. Maybe that little extra respite will be advantage of Pickman Thomas at all. Step up, step up. Stop back! Ellis Padilla having a little trouble separating the two fights. Okay, no, no, no. Real good left hook to the body that time by Tyson. And when Tyson's inside, his hands are having a little shake. He sets him up with the elbow. He stepped back. Didn't get a chance to get off the left hook that time. Okay, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. Step up, step up. Thomas still doesn't look like he has great power in any of his punches. time. Two minutes of the sixth round. Referee Carlos Padilla stops the bout. The winner by a TKO and still WBC, WBA, heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. All right, so it's officially a technical knockout, but that's only a technicality in itself because Piglin Thomas wasn't going anyplace. The count got up as high as nine, and Angelo Dundee came in 
took one look into the eyes of Pinkman Thomas, and he said no more. And at that stage, Padilla chose, instead of saying 10, to wave his hand, so it's just academic. Tyson knocked out Pinkman Thomas, believe me. Reggie's trying to get Tyson. He'll be with him in just a second. All right, here's So, Tyson. Mike Tyson, well done once again. What a tremendous finish. Thank you very much. Well, I put it together, you know, I let him wear himself out. That's why he was tied and I just put it together. Early on, you were getting a bit of trouble with him when you got close in. You learned from the bone crusher fight there. You, know? you saw I was punching inside more. You did? Yeah. You learned a little bit, you could do better? Yeah. No, so I mean, yeah. there was a time when you were, were you concerned that you wouldn't catch him because you, when you did, it was ferocity. I mean, I knew I would catch him eventually because we had 12 long rounds. I gotta go. Well, 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 I gotta go. No, I have to go. All right, so the heavyweight champion suddenly he says, "Hey, I gotta go," and leaves us. A little. Uh, a little quick uh, exit there as Mike Tyson just did an outstanding job once again proving I think uh, just more emphatically that he is the best heavyweight in the world.